These adult stem cell patients brought their message to Washington, D.C. They're asking lawmakers to help fund the kind of research that's already helped them and others with various diseases and conditions. Much of the media's attention is focused on embryonic stem cells harvested from live human embryos that are destroyed in the process. Some scientists think they might help patients in the future. But these patients came to Washington to tell dramatic stories about how adult stem cells taken from their own bodies are helping them today. Their stories are documented in a study just published in the Journal of the American Medical Association. Barry Gowdy suffered from multiple sclerosis and could barely walk. Dr. Richard Burt of Northwestern University is the author of the new study that used adult stem cells to help people like Barry. I look forward to continuing to live an active, productive lifestyle, MS-free, including playing golf, racquetball, playing hockey. <clears throat> My 25-foot walk is now a 25-foot run, and I am cured. He won't say it, but I won't. <laughs> Thank you. A condition called scleroderma attacked Amy Daniels' skin and lungs, making simple activities and even breathing painful and almost impossible. Adult stem cell treatments changed all that, allowing Amy to be a wife and mother once again. And I can help my kids get dressed, I can fix their hair, I can help them bathe, I can go up a flight of stairs, I can chase my kids around a park, and I'm back at work. Six months after my transplant, my lung functions went from 43% to 57%. The doctors can no longer hear it in my lungs, I can no longer feel it. The most important change is that I now have hope. Jill Rosen suffered from lupus for years before being selected for an adult stem cell transplant as part of the study. In March of 2007, my boyfriend and I went to Chicago to meet with Dr. Burt for my two-year follow-up. Again, test results were negative, factors were low, the transplant had worked. And I walked out of that office knowing that although I would still need certain medications and follow-up, the transplant had saved my life. Despite the media hype surrounding embryo destructive research, the testimony from these and other patients again demonstrated the real promise of adult stem cell research and therapy today. When they hear about the promises and the hope of stem cell research, that's true. But they need to remember the takeaway point is that the real successes that we're seeing are in adult stem cell research. Dr. David Prentice of the Family Research Council thanked the bipartisan congressional sponsors of a bill that's designed to fund more adult stem cell research projects, and he urged the public to support those efforts. Congressman Lipinski and Congressman Forbes were the host of this briefing. They have a bill, H.R. 2807, appropriately titled the Patient's First Act. And the idea of this bill is to try and get the resources to the stem cell treatments that are going to help the patients first. 